Welcome Taurus. I'm going to dedicate my song choice to you. This song basically represents the energy of what your sign is all about. And I'm really excited about this one because I think this song definitely captures your energy and expresses it so beautifully, not only through the song, but very much through the film clip as well. So we're going to analyze all of that and you're going to see why this is a really great song choice for your sign. Before I do that, we're going to do a quick recap on what your sign is all about. So you are ruled by the planet Venus. Your element is Earth. You're symbolized by the bull and your motto is I have. So when we go through the series, you'll see that everyone has a motto. Aries was I am, you are I have, Gemini is going to be I communicate and so on and so forth right throughout the series. So you guys are I have. That's really interesting. I've got a note here that people born in the springtime have an incredible enthusiasm for life. So if we take a look at the chart that I've been showing throughout this series, I'm going to write you in here, Taurus. Hang on. I'll do it like this so it's not too messy. Taurus, there you are. So I've been taking everyone through this diagram, which I'm running around this way. I'm running it around this way because that's how a teacher of mine did once a long time ago. And uh, if you want to discover more about that, you can view the intro to this song series. But basically, where are we? Springtime, we started with Aries here. We've come to you guys and it's that sustaining sort of a sustaining sort of a feeling that just, you know, we're excited about summer, we're on our way there, and you guys are just about here. This is perhaps, weather-wise, one of the most popular times on earth. Everybody loves spring. Everybody feels happier. You know, I know that definitely living in London, anytime we get a little bit of sunshine, the whole city becomes happy and everybody comments on how happy the city is and how happy the people are. Springtime is a wonderful time here and it's because, you know, winters are long and long and bleak at times, you know. I mean, this, this period of the zodiac here where the light is less, the light is dim, you know, and we fall into this section here, things can get a bit, um, a bit difficult. You know, and I think we love this period of time. So Taurus, you are born at a very, very popular time in the Zodiac. And because of that sustaining element that I showed, you know, we, we start the year astrologically in Aries, but you guys sustain us to summertime. I chose the song Can't Stop the Feeling by Justin Timberlake. Now, you're very welcome to, at this point in time, pause this video and click on the link below to listen to your song and then come back for my analysis or you can simply listen to my analysis and then watch your song afterwards. Either way, it doesn't matter. Uh, if I take you through my notes and why I chose this particular song, Usually what I do is, in, in many of these, um, there are lots of lyrics that come out as being really important in expressing the energy of your sign. For you guys, there aren't too many lyrics here. There is one, two notable lines which I'm going to read out to you. He sings, I got that sunshine in my pocket, got that good soul in my feet. Now, if we go back to what I said earlier, what is your motto? It's I have. So look at that. I've got that sunshine in my pocket. I have. I have sunshine. Sunshine in my pocket. I've got that good soul in my feet. This is all about what I have, right? And, you know, look at that, Taurians. You've uh, commoditized sunshine. That's pretty remarkable. And of course you would because, you know, a part of what's going on in, in this part of the zodiac is commerce. It is finance, definitely. Um, and if you look at the film clip visually, 
I mean, let's go into the visuals now. I've got a whole bunch of notes here as to why this is so rich for you guys. Maybe I'll just go through the notes. I think I've got a note about commerce. If I don't, I'm going to include that. In fact, I just might include that here now because I can't see it. Good. So it's rich in symbolism. What have we got? Let's, let's kick it off from the start of the film clip. We've got Justin Timberlake. It opens on Justin Timberlake sitting in a diner and he's eating, right? That is perfect. Okay, the second house rules food. So it's absolutely perfect that he's eating. Uh, Venus, art and flowers. If you'll notice, there's a guy who does this kind of dance move and he's pointing in the background to a huge sign above him that says Venus, art and flowers. I mean, that couldn't be more perfect. When I saw that, I was just like, that's perfect. That's Taurus. That's without doubt. That's just, that's it. Um, as you can see, as I kept watching this film clip, it was just like one after the other. Tick, tick, tick. Yes, yes, yes. This is, it's like a Taurian has art directed it or came up with the concept. I don't know who was the team that produced and created this, but there were definitely uh, Taurians behind this. And, and the person who conceptualized this has a lot of Taurus energy. Uh, the, the reasons continue. So we've got donuts featured, sweet food, yummy food, delicious food, Venus. There we go again. Uh, the dancers are all really confident, really, you know, they're all dancing like I'm the god of dancing or I'm the goddess of dancing. They have all just, they're exuding this fantastic feeling of I feel great about myself right? That is fantastic. That is Venus at its peak. Venus is a really solid sense of self and a really uh, good sense of confidence. It exudes confidence. It's like regardless of whatever you look like, and this is true, they say that, you know, the most attractive woman in the room, she's not the most symmetrical one or the most perfect one or the one wearing the best clothes or whatever or the one with the flawless skin or, or whatever it is the most beautiful woman in the room is always the one who is the most confident the one who's the most settled within her own skin and she carries herself well that is healthy venus energy right and that is something that is is very Taurian, definitely. So all of those dancers that you see, they are dancing like they are the, just the hottest dancer in the world. And I love that. I think that's fantastic. Um, everyone has their feet on the ground. Okay, so I've got a note here saying everyone's got their feet on the ground. Absolutely. You look at where they're all dancing. They're all dancing. I think there's one kid next to a pool or something, but everyone's on the ground. Everyone has their feet on the earth and you are an earth sign. So that's in there. The earth element is definitely in there. Um, everyone is on the ground floor. So I think even when they're in the diner, when they go outside and every different scene, you know, they're always on the floor kind of thing. Even when they're, I think they're in a shop or something and it's all ground level stuff so I just thought that was amazing they're all close to the earth um, the other thing is dancing itself is is a grounding activity and it's great for the first and the second chakras you know and the third as well I mean the first three it ruled the the physical body and but definitely um, drum beats are great for the first and I think dancing for the second because there's a creative element to that Definitely, it's a beautiful um, second chakra type thing. How did I get to that second chakra? I'm not sure. But anyway, the beat is strong. It's uplifting. There's a family feel. Second house, family feel. Absolutely. Second house rules family. So, and this is a perfect family kind of song. This is the kind of song that you would... You know, if you've got little kids, you'll teach them how to dance to this song or you'll get them dancing to this song. It's got that really beautiful, upbeat family feel. And then I've got my little note that I just added now about commerce. This is really interesting because Taurus does rule finance as well and, and commerce too, goods. Uh, I even tend to think luxury goods definitely falls into here. 
but um, goods definitely. And if you have a look at this film clip, they're in places of commerce. So they start in a diner, there's a supermarket, there's a guy who's uh, waving around one of those price guns. Uh, what else have we got? And they're in a shop. I think you can buy TVs or something. But there's, you know, in the Venus art and flowers, the business. There's a there's a, a very much a business theme throughout this as well, you know, uh, and not high end corporate business, but just regular, you know, goods, exchange of money type commerce. So I thought that was really interesting. And then we come to the part of my little presentation where I talk about what is so great about Taurus. So Taurus, what is so wonderful about your sign? I mean, there are so many things about your sign that are just so wonderful. Um, you guys are rock solid. You're dependable. You're loyal. You know, you're determined. You've got that energy to keep going. You've got that energy to, to sustain us to keep us going, you know, that sustaining kind of energy. You're taking us up to summer and, and keeping us all excited about that journey to summer, you know. Um, but but doing so in a, in a steady, solid and sustaining sort of a way, that's definitely the energy I feel that comes from your sign. Sustaining is quite a word because if you think about it, money is here and you know, people who have lots of money uh, are also, that's a classic thing that you see coming out of here. People who have lots of money have a great second house very often. And an, an example that's coming to my mind about this is Oprah Winfrey. She's got a terrific second house. When I put her in my sidereal Vedic astrology system, I can see her second house is beautifully lit up with lots of planetary energy there. So I think, you know, Taurians are sensible and they know how to save and they can sustain not only themselves but everyone around them. You know, if you want money, I think definitely go to a Taurian. You could go to a Leo. Leo would have money too, but Leo burns it up. Leo spends it nice and quickly. You know, the sun's there and uh, they burn it up, don't they? Whereas you, you guys, you have it. So I always think that's really cool. Uh, I've got a note here saying you're the sane one. Yeah, you're the sane one. What do I mean by that? Okay, you know how there's, let's say there's a sitcom that you like watching. Uh, I've got an example, Arrested Development. I really love watching that show. I think it's hilarious. And there's this character called Michael Bluth. Now he is the sane one and everybody around him is a bit crazy. I would say Michael Bluth is the Taurian in that uh, sitcom, you know, and in the sitcom that is your life, you might have a cast of crazies around you, Taurus, but believe me, you're the same one. So that's a really good thing. Um, the dependable, say, I love this. I think this is, this is great energy, you know. Uh, I've got a note here that for you it's hard to fall in love and it's hard to fall out of love which is, again, just a lovely quality to have. Another note I have here is that because you're ruled by Venus, and it's that second house thing, another thing we tend to see people coming out of the second house, they make great actors and, and great speakers, great public speakers, great speakers. Um, and depending, of course, on the configuration of your chart, you know, great writers. Uh, can often be seen as well with a Taurus ascendant. So it's really just such a terrific sign. If I had a tip to give you, one of the things I'm doing in the song series is at each sign I'm giving a tip to everybody. And for you, I would say the tip would have to be to come into your polar opposite. Now I'm going to draw... Scorpio on here is to take a leaf out of the book of your polar opposite and your polar opposite is Scorpio. So that's if you need balance, if you need to balance yourself out, if life is feeling a bit too samey or nothing's changing or, you know, then my tip to you is to 
dip your toe into the very deep waters of Scorpio and experience some transformational energy. I think that's as much as I'm going to say. You can click on the Scorpio song and see what I have to say about Scorpio and see what you think about what they're like and what leaf you can draw out of their book. But what I'll say is dip your toe into the deep, still, cool waters of Scorpio, the beautiful waters of Scorpio. Dip your toe in and experience some transformational change. Try something that you've never tried before. And I think you would need to actually watch my Scorpio uh, video to get some inspiration on that. So I think that's as much as I'm going to say, but transformation is a wonderful thing and change is great. So it's good to experiment. It's good to shake things up. It's good to try new things. So if your life is feeling a bit stagnant, a bit samey, a bit, I want to break out of this mold. I want to do something different then do some research on Scorpio. See what they've got going on down there and see how you can incorporate some of their energy into your life. So Taurus, I'm going to leave you with all of that. I really hope you like my song dedication to you. And as always in this song series, I'm encouraging everyone to comment below. And if you've got a better song, please tell me. I would love to see. Uh, I'm really excited to see what you guys have to say. So if you think there are other songs that are better or you are very free to chat below and uh, tell me what you think. I would really love to know. But I hope you realize what a vital part of the Zodiac you are and what a much loved part of the Zodiac you are. You know, we all love Taurians. They are so dependable and just just lovely beings. I, you know, I, I, I know people from every single sign and I'm not biased. At the end of each sign, you'll see me say how much each sign is, is totally loved. And of course that goes for you, Taurus. You are magnificent. So please keep being magnificent. And if you would like, you can join me in the next sign, which is Gemini.